Your drone here. What's going on, guys? Say hello to one of my favorite drones. Um, Wingsland, the company Wingsland, has its has has a piece of my pocket. Um, I like the orange design. I was sad I had to get rid of uh, my M5. I have the X1. I have uh, the S6. But uh, this one, this is one of my favorite drones overall. Um, just because of the look of it, it is GPS. It's 5.8 gigahertz. Has a gimbal on the bottom of it. This will be a full setup. I don't know that I've done a good video on full setup because I was just trying to watch my own videos. I fly so many drones, so as far as knowing each drone uh, without having to watch my own videos, um, I, I refer back to my own videos a lot. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn the controller on. We're going to plug this battery in. Once we plug the battery in, it syncs up. If you can see here, we have blue light on top. That blue light is our GPS indicator that lets us know if we have GPS. If it's solid, it'll be GPS. But again, we have a 5.8 gigahertz receiver, the eSheen, to the cell phone, which we'll connect once we get this calibrated. And um, then we'll also be able to see how many satellites we're connected to. If you look down here at the camera, you should be able to see the camera. I can adjust that up and down. There is a button on the back there. Um, heavy pitching with this, you probably want to adjust it down a little bit, otherwise you're going to get your props in there. So let's calibrate this, and the way we calibrate this is, let's see, okay, we have a three-stage switch here. We need to start from the center and just go one, two, three, four, and then five on the center part. We have all our satellites there. We are blinking green underneath. Hopefully you can see that. If you see my pointer finger, we're blinking green. We need to do about six rotations. So we're gonna pick it up. That's a half. That's one. And I think I'm just gonna do it the way that I'm doing it and the way I've always done it. Doing halves and dropping, that's two. That's three. That's four. That's the fifth one. We're still blinking. This is the sixth one coming up. I think we might. I think we might be good to go, guys. Um, my lights underneath. They are still blinking. I, 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 maybe they just never stop blinking. I don't know. Um, so we're we're gonna try. We're gonna take off. It's allowing me to go up. Again, I'm not sure why those lights in the rear are blinking. I'm not showing anything on my telemetry here. Which, uh, I don't know. This might not be the best review, guys. <laughs> we got nine satellites that we're locked onto. Everything's set where it should be. The drone is holding nicely, it's not orbiting. Trying to see. I don't know. Really wanted to kind of take this for a range run, but uh. I don't know, guys. It's kind of one of those things should I or shouldn't I? Um, I'm gonna pitch downwards. And my screen. I really should have cleaned off my screen here and now my we got all types of issues here my receiver just fell off the back of my screen this is the worst review ever do apologize <laughs> um i'm gonna put this up like this and uh we are gonna take it for a little run out i will uh i am gonna record recording right now I'm just going to take this for a little run out want this up higher again I don't know why my back lights are uh, blinking green I'm watching my display here now still got good reception
Good reception. 200 meters away from myself. Two fifty two, two seventy three. Trying to this thing has such a small FPV readout that it's only consuming a partial bit of uh, my screen here. And what I should do is we're gonna slowly stop and just let it sit there. Hopefully it'll sit there. I'm uh four hundred and twenty meters away. I'm gonna do a screen recording on here um through the app, then I'm gonna keep going. Which, I don't know how smart that is. Um, I don't know how smart that is. Because it doesn't show me any type of signal or anything. Easy there. Hold on. Which way? Let's see here. Let me go this way. Okay, my FPV is cutting out a little. Alright. I need to come back towards myself. Which... Alright, this thing's in headless mode again. Wonderful. Which I don't remember how I got this out of headless mode. Um I'm just gonna go this way. That's what that that's what that uh, airplane lock is. Headless mode. I'm bringing it back towards myself by pulling back. And let's see. I need to go this way, or this way. I need to go, nope. Go this way. Um, let's see if I can figure out how to get that out of headless mode. Hmm. I hate to do it with this away from me. And I don't see it. Alright, I'm coming towards myself. Slowly. I'm actually going to be coming. Let's see this way this is horrible I hate piloting in headless mode all right I'm back my drones right there I'm gonna stop recording I'm going to turn this around the way that it should be and pile it back to myself. I remember doing that one time. Dude, that's scary. Getting out over a half a mile and then turning around to pile it back. Um, turning around to pile it back and it being in headless mode and it's continuing to go the wrong direction. That is scary. And that's probably why my lights are blinking because I'm in headless mode. Um, Ah, how to get out of headless mode. I know it's not my right two switches. It's definitely not my right two switches. Let's see about this one. There, we're out of headless mode. It's this top switch. You want this top switch all the way up. You want this in the center. Um, you want this one all the way up, and this is for your video. So I don't know what, what type of... Uh, it shows I still have two bars. We are going to... Uh, I'm going to record again, I think, and do another run out, which I don't know how smart that is. Um, let's bring this down. I want to see. Maybe I got LEDs on my battery itself. No, they're not lit. I know if you press those, that'll tell you. But it shows I still got two bars here. I want to go back out once more and not get scared because the drone's moving in the wrong direction. And I need to wait because, again, my receiver fell off. This double-sided tape that I'm using is horrible. Hopefully that'll stay there. Um, I'm going to try to stand like this and maybe I can adjust my antenna like that maybe. And maybe that'll be good if we're flying that direction just because I'm trying to watch this. Uh, what we're going to do, we are going to record. I'm also, yeah, I don't know if that's going to be the best thing. We'll see. Um, we're going to go out. Again, I'm going to try to pay attention to this itty bitty little FPV screen.
and I actually want to oh, just go easy on the stick J drone. Um, I'm trying to keep the props out of the view here. Mosquito trying to bite my lip. Down to one bar of battery. One bar of battery. Two bars of battery. I just got back. Wow, we having a heck of a time seeing here. Really should have cleaned my screen off. Lift up, lift up, lift up. 600 some odd meters away. Still got two bars of battery. We're out there, guys. We are out there. Now, hopefully, on this turnaround, my FPV stays. Kind of would like to hit that half a mile mark. There, we've hit a half a mile. We are going to slowly let off the sticks. Um, now, I'm going to try to pile it back towards myself. Oh, FPV is getting glitchy. FPV is like nil. I'm going to hit forward. Oh, my FPV is tough. FPV is tough. That's tough. Man. All right, there we go. Oh, we're pitching back. All right, what I might have to do is face away from myself again and just backpedal, which that's scary. Let's go ahead and backpedal. I know this area pretty well that hopefully I can back pedal towards my back towards myself. I think I gotta go this way. I, think I gotta go this way. 621 meters away from myself. Let's see, I think I gotta go this way. I mean, at this juncture, I'm gonna try to turn around again. It's tough. It is tough. 27.30, now I'm going away from myself now. Hmm. Alright, so there's, I can see the abyss, the second abyss. So, going this way, I should be good. Yeah, I'm coming towards myself. My FPV screen is horrible as far as what I'm looking at. I'm 500 meters away from myself. Got one bar of battery. My adrenaline's starting to kick in. My heart's starting to race. Because again, this is one of my favorite drones. quarter mile away from myself and my FPV screen is crap like complete crap I don't know if I need to go up higher I've gone up a little bit higher three thirty two away three twenty six away Three hundred one, three ninety five, three two eighty eight, two seventy nine. I'd like to see it because if I can see it, there right, I see it. Bam. <laughs> so two hundred meters away, I can see it. And again, my FPV on my screen is garbage. Maybe if I tilt down, yeah. If I would have tilted down, there you go, J drone. You should just tilt the camera down, and you'll get uh, your FPV a little bit clearer. But I can pilot it back without seeing that. Scary, scary. Let me tell you. I don't like... <laughs> did not like that whatsoever. Because again, this is one of my favorite drones. The Alcenema is hands down my top's favorite drone just because of uh, what it is and whatnot. But this is up there too. Um, and I got a caution. My caution is probably my battery voltage. I'm going to stop recording. Um, I've stopped recording. Now that I've stopped moving, I've lost my caution, but we're going to we're going to bring this down anyway. Because this is going to go back in the storage and uh heart's racing, guys. 
this is going to go back into storage so to have some type of battery left is good yeah we're going to bring it in we're bringing it in bringing it in that's why that's why uh my blinking would not stop because i, I had it in headless mode But we'll just get up on this, try to get a good picture of this. What up, buddy? What up? And we're going to go ahead and drop this here. Put it over here where it's pretty level. Up. That was successful. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording on screen. Um, so again, guys, top switch, first position, middle position, top position, and this is uh, a spring-loaded one if you press that controls your camera. If you have this in the middle position, you are in headless mode, and you're up for a scare if you don't know that you're in headless mode. Um, all right, guys, I'm J-Drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Questions, comments, concerns down below. Get at me.